Welcome to the Nest app. This is the platform you'll be using to attend the upcoming ATS 2020 conference sessions. Your welcome email already included a link to the desktop platform. So let's start there and review what you'll need to do. The desktop is where you'll plan your personal agenda, view session details, and access some fun videos and photos from previous sessions. Here's the home page. The sidebar links will take you to frequently used capabilities and enable you to schedule your sessions. Complete your profile by clicking in the upper right-hand corner where you see your name and the person icon. Update your details and don't forget to save them. Now you can plan your agenda. Start by clicking on Schedule. Next, check off the sections you want to attend. For time slots where multiple sessions are available, first click the calendar icon and then select the subsection you want to attend. Make sure you have everything you want by viewing My Schedule. You probably want to know more about the speakers. You can view anyone's profile by clicking on their name or photo. You will likely get some notifications at the beginning of the conference as well as throughout, so remember to check your messages. Accessing the video or photo library is easy. Just click on the ones you want to explore. Download the mobile app by going to the App Store. Search for nest nickpap and download the app. You'll want to use both platforms for the conference to get the most out of it. On the mobile platform, you can see who else is attending and message them. To see the attendee directory, first click on the dot 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 or more button at the bottom. Then click directory to view attendees. To message someone, Select Direct Messaging, Compose a New Message, and Send. A red dot indicates that you have a message from another attendee. While you can view notifications from your desktop platform, you can also see them on mobile. We sincerely hope you enjoy the conference, and if you have any questions, please contact our support desk.